what is up everybody as you can see finally i'm actually gonna put this in <laughs> i had actually forgot about it since i threw it in the back i put it in storage real quick as you can see i already got everything uh ready to go um if you don't know how to remove the radiator it's pretty simple on this 2.6 and most of the older vehicles it's the same so uh first suggestion i would do loosen up these nuts right here because once you remove the belt from the pulley it's free to move around so just loosen them up you don't have to take it completely off then there is down here an adjuster bolt on the alternator bracket so loosen that up too. That way you can remove this belt. Now once you do that, remove the belt, or not the belt, the bolts. Now the bolts, they hold the fan clutch and the pulley. So there's the bolts. Pretty simple. Take that off. Next step, obviously, uh, make sure you drain all the coolant. After all the coolant's drained, Remove the hoses. Hose goes from here. Hose goes from here. That is done. And then once you're done with that, you remove the bolts from here, which hold up the radiator. There's one here or here. I don't remember which one. And then there's another one down here. Same thing on this side. Right there and right there. From there, just pulls right out. And as far as I remember, there's nothing else in the way. So that's the Montero radiator I actually upgraded to originally. Because I kind of screwed up and didn't uh, prep for this one correctly. Now one of the main things I did have to do. Let me pull this out. Bam. Is I did have to readjust this because originally it was coming out straight so it was sticking out up and down right there 90 degree and went about there so from there the issue was it stuck out to about right here so it was gonna have trouble fitting here with the power steering pulley now mine is a 2.6, so I know the, well I believe it's the 2.4, and the 2.0s have the pulley up there. Mine is actually the AC pump, and for you guys that have seen the other videos, this is actually an air compressor now. So the AC pump converted to an air compressor, there's the lines and everything. But if you guys want to check that out, look through my videos, I show uh, how I did that. Unfortunately, I did lose all of my old pictures and data that showed the interior of this thing. Of all the holes you had to plug up. But there was only two, I believe. And then back over here, as you can see, I have everything marked off. Center right here edge of radiator then edge of the plate so the plate's gonna go all the way up to here I did use this uh, rivet uh, style bolt thingy I don't even know what it's called but that's where everything's gonna mount up to now those two and those two but after that issue I cut it, rewelded it, and no, I'm not a professional, so that's why it doesn't look that great. Don't judge me. So hopefully, I got everything pretty sealed up and it doesn't leak. Now she is in. As you can see, it's a pretty tight fit. So I had a leave the cardboard on to make sure I didn't scratch or damage any of the blades 
right there as you can see the bolts are nice and tight but to put that in I was literally scratching here now originally I was going to put a fan shroud but having it that close I don't know if I really need one right now but if I do end up needing one I'll figure it out but as you can see right here this is what I was talking about where I had to re remount this originally it came straight out to right there oh that's horrible camera work but yeah so it went straight out to here it was going to hit the pulley but i picked it up so from here should be able to clear here and i i bought a flexible hose for this because uh also uh i think this was what one and three quarter and I believe this is two inches. So I bought a hose, a flexible hose that lets me uh, use those two ends. And this one's actually smaller. So I forget the size of this. I actually gotta go to the store and get me, get one to go from here to there. I believe it's uh, like one and a half. Or one and a quarter I think it was I forget I'll check it out right now and let you guys know when I go buy it and I believe this is one and a half so I think this is one and a quarter and one and a half <coughs> but also I bought the radiator cap already so I'm good to go there um, if I had a welder and all that at home I would probably Cut this down, made it up to where the radiator meets. That way I don't have such a gap right here. And it leaves me more room for the fan. But since I don't yet, that's what I'm working with. Hopefully by the time I, I do it for this one, because I know some people will probably hate me for it. Some people out there are purist. But... Instead of using that radiator, I'm thinking about doing the same swap, but a smaller radiator. Oh, I actually don't think I've mentioned what radiator this is. This is uh, from Eastwood, Eastwood Products, and it is their Tri-Flow Radiator. Now this is the GM style, because this one had these mounting plates like this, which would work out. And this is a 26 inch radiator. So uh, I believe the core is actually smaller than that one. Let me see. So this is pretty much the size of the core on that. Bam. So yeah. It is slightly smaller, but since uh, it is the tri-flow, it will flow through the radiator three times. So what it does, it goes from here, where you can see where it's welded. That make, lets it go through here, down to here, all the way back there, from back there, all the way down here. So it flows through the radiator or at least portions of the radiator, radiator three times. So that helps cool everything even more than that one. And it looks cool and it's aluminum. So we'll see how this one works out on this truck uh, before I do it on that one. That one still works. So no need to get another radiator yet all right so I got the hoses ready uh, the only one that was kind of specific Pacific specific I would say is this one from Napa right there 7614 now that's just pretty much this is the whole piece and it goes from one and three quarters to one and a half 
and then I got an adapter right here a reducer so that's gonna go from one and a half to one and a quarter so one and a quarter fits on here perfect I might just trim this so it doesn't kink it a little bit I think that's pushing it down and on this side simple simple one and a half to one and a quarter same thing I got an adapter I think these were like seven bucks on Amazon so yeah just get this the reducers for this should be cool just got to put the new clamps in and fill her up I got the radiator cap too so can't forget that this is the larger uh, a larger cap than the Mitsubishi one Bam. so this is tiny compared to that and this is actually oh holds more pressure also now right here I don't know if you could uh, read it but that's a 0.9 bar which comes out to about I believe it's 12 13 pounds so this will hold up to 16 pounds obviously it's got this little lever for pressure release either way GM style radiator so you got to use the GM cap so the lines ready to go so just gonna clamp it up real quick and fill her up the vehicle is in operating temp right there. What, around 205, 200, 205. So everything is cool so far. No leaks up here. But unfortunately, I do have a leak down there. But that's because I screwed up when I welded it. I left that little uh, divot in the weld. I should have known. But you can see the antifreeze right there jiggling, jiggling. So it's dripping a little bit. But besides that, there's nothing else wrong with it. System's running good. Uh, it seems to have uh, gotten to operating temp a little slower than normal. So hopefully that means that it's doing a good job of cooling. So besides that though, not too bad. And I have an upgraded radiator for this one because the other one did break. The Montero one will go back in the Montero for now. Or at least when I get it running. So I'll give you guys uh, an update later how the radiator is. But so far, so good. You guys keep on wrenching. Post credits right here. Uh, obviously, this is not the only way to get a larger aluminum radiator in. You can. And what I'm going to actually end up doing with the Montero is instead of getting this 26 inch radiator, I'm going to get the 22. Now the 22, I won't have to re-drill any mounting holes. So the end of the radiator should be somewhere around here. And you'll be able to just drill holes onto the plates in order for it to fit in the original mounting locations. Obviously, it will still be tight here, though. Um, I have heard of people using uh, S13, the Nissan S13 aluminum radiator. I do not know how to do that swap. But as far as I've seen, you're going to have to drill and mount some tabs on the bottom for the radiator to sit on because it doesn't have these plates on the side. Um, it, it would be similar to my Mitsubishi Eclipse where it had tabs on the bottom and tabs up top to hold it in place. But from what people say, it fits. And 
Also, this uh, radiator, I originally was looking for a 1968 Camaro. I believe the 67, 68 Camaros are the radiators that fit on this one too. But I ended up finding this Triflow radiator from Eastwood. So, you could also use the 68 Camaro radiator. And from what I've seen when people use them, that spout right there is actually pretty short. Maybe to where the end of this ring comes, or clamp I mean. So, are you, instead of actually cutting and re-welding, you would just have to figure out how to route from here, miss the pulley, and back up here. So that's another option. Those are the only ones that I know of. If you know of any other ones, please put them in the comments. That way you can help people out. Uh, like I said, I will actually be doing the 22 inch radiator, even though technically it is smaller, but with it being the tri-flow, it will flow back and forth and cool a lot. A lot more than the original one so I've been driving this probably for two weeks just got back from King of the Hammers over here and just went for one day so you could see all my dirty filthy engine <laughs> but throughout all that time uh, it was what like a two-hour drive for me going uphill uh, I was taking it in the dirt truck is still dirty luckily so I was driving down it cleaned off a little bit where well, you can see right there all the dirt but the whole time temperature never passed over 210 degrees even while going uphill so uh, the thermostat is 190 to 220 so pretty much the thermostat didn't really do much work it was just the radiator, the fan, and I'm hoping that I can make a radiator shroud. Uh, I might actually go the easy route though. Eastwood does sell a shroud for this. I was just being cheap when I bought it. <laughs> so yeah, that's a little bit extra for you guys. Uh, give you guys some options and probably on the Montero since I am buying a welder. I'll probably cut this down, re-weld it. That way this is brought up closer here. Gives me more room here. But until then, you guys keep on wrenching. Have fun with your vehicle, that's what they're for.